How do you do, everybody? Welcome to Baseball Action. As the Highland Park Giants take on the Harlem, McChesney Park, Harlem Huskies in baseball action. Part of the Pretzel City Classic. Here at uh, Freeport, home of the Pretzels. And then Ranieri leading it off for the Huskies of Harlem High School. We're only playing five innings in this ball game. We had a real severe thunderstorm go charging through here this morning. And they're backed up a little bit time-wise, strike on the outside corner. I got caught in the thing as bad as any, anybody. Nearly became a permanent resident to Freeport. Ground ball, the first in time, one up, one down. He, uh, I was in the city proper, and four trees, full big oak trees and fir trees, snapped off at the base right in front of me. But I survived without any damage at all. Ball ball. I've been standing out in the fields with lightning and all kinds of stuff. There's a strike on the outside corner. The Brock Soder. A lock and load and high and outside of all. Out of Park Giants. Harlem. Harlem is a 4A school like all the Central Suburban League teams. That's the largest of the part. Strike three, two down. Here's TJ Chance. As we said, only playing five innings today. High and tight a ball. Ball one. Number three in the batting order for the Huskies. And the delivery, hot shot ball. The result of the storm, which has passed, is that we have a real strong wind blowing out. At about 30 miles an hour or so, maybe even more. High and outside of all, but it's from the south southwest, so it's a warm day here in Freeport, Illinois. How they pitch? We got a bit of strike to T.J. Chance. That one fouled off. They were saying that they, uh, in the storm that went through, and 60 plus miles, well, I'll get to it. Anyway, at the end of the half, they could play. There's no score. And the Highland Park Giants come to bat. Here in the bottom half of the first inning. And leading it off is David Joseph. Takes the pitch high and outside the ball. He said a dumpster, fully loaded dumpster, just south of this ballpark. Went flying, literally. Got shoved into a ditch. Got to be about 60, 65 mile an hour win. And a single to right for uh, David Joseph. And here's Orrin Spungen. Shell runner out at first. Bottom of the first inning. There's strike on the outside corner. 
the spangit. Outfield playing pretty much straight away and relatively shallow for the win. Throw it a second, they got him. On the attempted steal by Joseph. And what away. And a round ball, shortstop has it. Up throwing won't be in time and an infield single for Spungit. And here's David Hoxted. John Simone in the hole for the Giants. High and outside of all. And a ground ball through for the base hit. Right through the hole on the left side of the infield. And two on. And here's John Simone. And takes a strike on the outside corner. Strike one. So two on, one out. And next week in real time starts all the league play. Usually the first week is crossover games. The Central Suburban North versus the South. Good. Outside, gets away, and both runners advance on up. And fly ball to the right field, caught. And the sacrifice fly. Works to drive home the run, and it's one nothing. Here's Matt Loy. Yeah, it's all a little ground ball. Second baseman over to first. And we're done with the first inning. With the Highland Park Giants leading the Harlem Huskies by the score of one to nothing, we'll be back with more. Great games of the past, the current season games, available on the internet on YouTube. And the Metro Chicago Sports Network homepage is a place to check out the list of the games that are available on YouTube. As fans in the stands, be supportive and not abusive. Sport a winning attitude. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. You're watching baseball action from Freeport on the Metro Chicago Sports Network where we move along to the top of the second inning. And Dwayne Douglas leads it off. A wee bit windy out here. We have a little bit of wind. Outside the ball. And yeah, ball ball back. Look at this big boy. Line shot down the line and a ground roll double. Bounces up over the fence at about the 325 mark or place. And the double. Here's Chance Elmer. And a hot shot right down the line. That's a base hit. And they'll send Douglas home. And Chance uh, and Elmer will hold up at first. And it is one to one. Here's Tyler Bourne. It's out of first. Elmer back in time. to catch the runner, but he wasn't going anywhere. Outside the ball. And 
snap throw to first. Keep the runner on us, but it wouldn't go anywhere. And there's the sacrifice bunt. Born out at first on play over to second. Goes Chance Elmer. And here's Tavian Coogan. So Tavian Coogan bats. And strike, strike one. Outside for a ball. Show runner at second. And strike. I think the counts blackjack. Twenty one. And a pitch high, a ball. There's really not a great place to shoot from here. Get the screen in the way. Hot shot foul on side of third. Thought the runner was going. Well, he was staying put out there second. One out. One on. Uh, Run right in to tie this thing up at one. Here in the top of the second inning. Get that runner stay close to the back. Shot. That's a base hit to the left. They'll hold the runner at third. Runners at the corners. Here's Andrew Massetti. For the Harlem Huskies. Harlem High School's uh, McChesney Park, which is Suburban Rockford, they had a little trouble getting here this morning, even though it's only 22 miles between Rockford and Freeport. But the severe weather caused some icing and also blew over a couple of semis along the way. On US 20, heading here. And strike three. Here's Cody Paholsky. So Paholsky bats. Runners at the corners, two out. There goes the runner. They'll take the throw to second. In the meantime, the run gonna come home on the double steal. And the runner at out on the base pass tagged out, but it's 2-1 in favor of uh, Harlem now. And it's 2-1. Going to the bottom half of the second inning, Sam Nevers leading it off for the Giants. Only playing five here because of the Weather trying to catch up. There's no lights. Pitch low and outside the ball. Never is Taylor is Spintana and Dominic Giancio. Two up. Here in the bottom half of the second. Ball ball back to the screen. They lock and load. Low and inside a ball. And 
pitch high, a ball. The Devers. And a high pop-up on the infield. Douglas comes in, fights the win, takes it for the out. And one away, Dwayne Douglas with the catch. Here's Taylor Smentana. And strike on the outside corner. Ground ball, second baseman. Over to first in time. One up, one down. Or two up, two down. It's Dominic Ciancio. Justin Mills. In the hole. On the Park Giants. In the championship round here in Freeport. The tournament. And a base hit single. And Liam Carter. Better run for him. It's a courtesy runner. And here's Justin Mills. Went to butt. Pitch inside. Throw to first. Carter back. And now the bun attempt fouled off. Off to the left. One on the cap. And a high fly ball. Everybody giving chase. Left field or over. Takes it for the out. And it's out number three. We play through two. It's 2 1 Harlem. Huskies over the Highland Park Giants. We'll be back with you. The Metro Chicago Sports Network, seen on cable, Highland Park Access, Comcast Northern Cook County, Dutrier Television, AT&T Uverse, and on the Internet, on YouTube. Drinking and driving do not mix. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Metro Chicago Sports Network moving along to the top of the third inning of this one. And Harlem leading Highland Park 2-1. to one. And first pitch. Hold on. Cody Polsky gets another opportunity here. He was at bat on the double steal. They got the run home, but the runner was tagged out on the base pass. And the rundown, pitch low ball. And fell out of play. Dead and fault off to the left. And a little comeback here. Over the first stint time. And one away. Go back to the top of the batting order here. And then Ranieri. Little ground ball, second baseman. Over the first stint time, two down. Here's Brock Soder. Pitch low in the dirt, ball one. Yes, be sure to join us throughout the season. We'll be here through to uh, July, foul ball. Doing the baseball. Wrapping up our 27th season. Of television coverage of uh, High school sports. Pitch high and outside the ball. And strike on the outside corner. I 
know it's getting scary to look at some of those baseball, some of the early athletes in some of the sports from the 27 years. And, you know, they're guys uh, reaching their upper 40s. Ball four. And Brock Soder aboard. Here's TJ Chance. High and outside of all. ball and that goes to the fence on the gapper they're gonna send the runner from first and he'll make it without the play and another run home for Harlem and they lead it three to one and Jacob Nimtitz Nimtitz now running for TJ Chance and here's Dwayne Douglas High and outside the ball. He does have home run power, no question about it. I think it was the game before this. I know I saw him hit a couple of homers today. Yeah, and yesterday. He's a big boy. Dead foul ball. Huskies are in the Nick 10. Northern Illinois Conference 10. Ball ball. Along with Rockford Jefferson, Freeport. Belvedere, Belvedere North. Now they pitch outside of all. And a high pop up on the infield. Second baseman back behind second base. Actually, a little bit towards the shortstop area. As for the out. But the Huskies pick up an insurance run and lead it three to one here as we go to the bottom half of the third halfway home with this ball game. The five inning affair being at what it is. And David Joseph, top of the batting order. Take the pitch outside for a ball, ball one. Everybody around always thinks of Highland Park as a Highland Park and or Deerfield, the two District 113 schools as the smallest schools in the Central Suburban League. Ground ball, whoopsie, and throw, they still got him. One up, one down, here's Orrin Spungen. But in fact, now the smallest school in the Central Suburban North is Maine East. Ball ball out of play. And I want to say about 1,600. And uh, Highland Park and Deerfield are both about 1,800, 17. High 17, low 18, 100. And a ground ball. Deep short, long throw, not in time. And getting it out is Orrin Spungen with the single. Here's David Hockstead.
as compared to the other end of the spectrum, the largest school in the Central Suburban League is the largest high school in the state. And Waukegan. And New Trier. And about 100 students behind. And 4,200. Then a big drop to Evanston. And about 3,000. So they're going to be a strike throw to second. They said they got it. So Spungen caught stealing. Hockstead bats with nobody on, two out. And a high pop up foul. And take it for the out. And we're done with the third. And it's the Harlem Huskies, three, and the Harlem Heart Giants, one. We'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Parents are the first line of defense against teenage substance abuse. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage substance abuse. A message of the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning here in Freeport, Illinois in the Pretzel City Classic and the Harlem Huskies leading the Highland Park Giants by the score of three to one. And off we go to the top of the fourth Huskies, inning. 15, Chance, Elmer. Chance Elmer leading it off. He singled and scored his last time up. It's a shot down the line foul. Just outside of third. And a line shot. That's going to be a base hit. Out to left center. And Chance Elmer aboard. Here's Tyler Bourne. No official at bat. He sacrificed the last time up. Falls, tries to do it again this time. Falls it off. And they got the runner picked off. And Elmer is out. So nobody on. One out. And the pitch, low ball. One on one. To Tyler Moore. Tavian Coogan on deck. Ball ball back behind us here. And a base hit to right. A single for Bourne. And David Coogan, the banner. Strike, strike what? I don't know. Maybe it's the weather, but uh, a lot of strange baseball this spring. A lot of games or not a lot of hitting. Pitchers seem a little off. Maybe it's the cold weather. I wouldn't be surprised if that has something to do with it. Bees in the bat. Particularly with our group, so close to Lake Michigan. Here uh, playing in Freeport. Got a beautiful sun, shiny day. Ball ball. Lake. Strike three. Tavian Coogan. Yeah. With 
going from the wrong direction. Anyway, there's a fly ball out there. Not going to get to it. And they're going to hold the runner. And the double by Massetti. And here is Cody Baholski. He falls one off. And a ball that drops in the shallow center. Scores the run. Scores two, as a matter of fact. And ball gets away. Off to second. And it's thought to go to third. But uh, Paholski will stay out at second. And the pitch in there for a strike. Low in the dirt, gets away. And off goes the runner to third. So we're on around third, but two out. Two more runs in for the Huskies. Pitch a little inside a ball. Winner of this game will play Freeport. And strike on the outside corner. This is uh, leadoff man Dan Ranieri. reach of Hochstedt. Hot shot. Oh, nice catch by Spantana. And that takes care of that. But two more runs home, and it's 5-1 in favor of the Huskies of Harlem High School. Leading the Giants of Wild Park as the Giants come to that here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. John Simone to lead it off. And takes a strike out of the outside corner. And low and away a ball. Ground ball. And a whoopsie. A short stop. Simone aboard. And Matt Lloyd takes a pitch inside for a ball, ball one. Sam Nevers on deck. Three and oh. Three and one. Taking all the way was Lowy. Ball back, the count goes full at three and two. And a high fly ball. Shallow. Right, take him on second baseman. Scurrying back to first is Simone. One out. Here's Sam Nevers. Swing and a bit, strike. 
outside of all. And throw over to first, runner back. And some off. The look over. The pitch. Curve ball. But high ball. And low. Maybe a little bit inside the ball. Screen. Very strong width. Blow it out. And ball four. And Sam Nevers draws the walk. Here's Taylor Smentana. And a line shot. That's going to be a gapper out there. Bounces to the fence, right at the 365 mark. That's gonna score a run, and now, whoopsie! Spantana caught in the rundown. And instead of runner, it now coming home. And they got him in the rundown. Tagged him out, and now the runner has come back off second, and Spantana's gonna be tagged out. Well, we're double play, and the inning. Bad base running by the Giants, and it is five to two as we go to the fifth inning. This is baseball on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Responsibility and respect are the keystones of life. A message of the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the Fifth inning, range shortened game. And the Harlem Huskies leading the Highland Park Giants by the score of 5 to 2 on the last inning. As we start the last inning here, Brock Soder leaning it off. And takes one high and tight for a ball. Ball what? Outside the ball. <laughs> and in there for a strike. Ground ball. Nice bounce up. David Jones will stay with it over to first in time. One up, one down. T.J. Chance, the batter. Takes a pitch outside for a ball. Ball ball back to screen. Pitch high, a ball. One and two, the count. The chance. And struck out and homered. And his two previous plate appearances, uh, not homered, double. Two previous plate appearances. And a pitch high, a ball. Great. Two away. Here's Dwayne Douglas. So Douglas bats. Nobody got. Two out. Top of the fifth inning. They try and tie the ball. And kind of show you how strong the wind is. 
can see the flag out there too. If you watch out, left center pitches high a ball. It is blowing about 30 some miles an hour. We're in that general range. Out of the south, southwest. A little inside a ball. Really helps curve ballers and wind will make that ball do funny things. There's a strike on the inside corner. Be sure to join us all season long for sports action here on the network. We've completed football, basketball, and ice hockey seasons, and we're into the baseball season now. And ball four. So Dwayne Douglas aboard, here's Chance Elmer. Takes a pitch high of all ball one. Like I said, I got lucky to survive that uh, severe thunderstorm that came through here this morning. There's a fly ball out to left and taken for the out. And we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Last chance for the Giants. And Dominic Ciancio leads it off. Ciancio, Mills, and Joseph. Eight, nine, and one in the Giants lineup. So a little ground ball back up the middle. Shortstop scoops it up over to first in time. One up, one down. Justin Mills the batter. He takes a pitch high and outside of all. And a strike. What a what? And scooped and fouled away. One and two. And a hot shot, ball. Count holds. And it's a little ground ball. Again, a short stop. Makes it over, up. Throws. Got it. Two away. Here's David Joseph. And he takes a pitch high and outside, a ball. And a fly ball. That's going to get back to the fence. Ground roll double. One hops over to the fence. And here's Orrin Spungen. Another second. And a little comebacker. That's going to do it. Over to first, and the ball game is all over. The final word on this ball game for Harlem. Five runs, eight hits, one error. They were struck out four times, walked two, three left on base, and one stolen base. For the Highland Park Giants, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They were not struck out in the ball game. They were walked one time and three left on base. So that'll do it for us for this ball game. Stick around on the network for more sports action throughout the season. And for all of us, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody.